Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again on what at the time of recording is a beautiful sunny day. I hope it continues. Uh, just over a week ago we looked at the fifth of these 30 wise sayings in Proverbs chapters 22, 23, 24 uh, and that talked about uh, do not move an ancient boundary stone set up by your ancestors. Well today we move on to saying 11 uh, from Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 10 and this repeats that instruction but also gives us a little bit of context. Let me read the whole thing. Do not move an ancient boundary stone or encroach on the fields of the fatherless for their defender is strong he will take up their case against you. So I think what Solomon is getting at here is that um, the way that we care for the vulnerable, for those who are less able to defend themselves, and perhaps uh, what Solomon clearly has in mind here is the orphans and maybe widows who uh, are not as, as strong either uh, physically or kind of socially. They don't have the same representation socially as uh, a widow in the um, time that Solomon was writing, uh, a widow or an orphan uh, would not be able to argue their own case in the courts. Uh, that was a man's job, apparently. Thank goodness things have changed. But the sense that it is coming across here is that we need to be particularly careful to not exploit the weak and the vulnerable. Why? For their defender is strong. He will take up their case against you. And even when our human father is not able to defend us, or we don't have a human representative, we have a heavenly one. And our God in heaven is uh, absolutely determined that we treat the poor, the vulnerable, uh, with justice. That we don't, absolutely, we don't take advantage, we don't seek to exploit we don't look for ways in which we can gain an unfair advantage. And that's the sort of thing that's um, kind of illustrated by this business about moving ancient boundary stones, by encroaching on the land of others. We're stealing uh, what is rightfully theirs. So in a wider context, and perhaps we don't need to worry about boundary stones in our day and age, but in a wider context, uh, the... Um, application of this proverb, this saying, is clear. We're not to exploit people. We're not to exploit the, the weak and the vulnerable. But we're to be honest, we're to be genuine, and we're to look to protect one another throughout our society. I, I pray that that's something in our own situations, in our own uh, front lines, that we can all work towards in everything that we do. How well do we care for those who perhaps are not as socially or economically strong as us. How much do we stick up for the underdog? There's something to think about as we pray. Father, uh, please help us. Help us uh, if we are exploited to know how to defend ourselves, to call upon you, but help us if we are the exploiters to recognize that and to put that right. Help us to treat all people fairly and justly in all situations, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Take care.